Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm a sewing specialist here at Bonds & Porter. In this Sew Easy tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the chain link template set to make blocks. As you can see in the quilt behind me, a fun um, block to put together and make into long um, chains or create a kind of a bar quilt. So we've got a template set here that consists of uh, six different pieces and they're all lettered and we start at the bottom, we've got A, B, C, D, E, and F. And when you're cutting these, you're also going to be cutting some of these pieces, A, B, C, and D, in reverse in order to make the quilt block that you see next to the templates. The top piece, this center piece, you don't need in reverse. The others are a mirror image so that you'll need to turn the template over and cut in reverse. Follow your pattern for the number of reverse pieces and um, those from the um, correct side so that you know you have the right number to make your blocks. So cutting of these requires um, a, a rotary cutter and a small blade like this will get up next to the template with ease. There's just a gentle curve there but the smaller uh, millimeter blade works best for that. Once you've cut all your pieces and kept them somewhat sorted, I like to, um, when I was working on the step offs for this, I kind of sorted them according to their shapes and so I knew exactly the construction of this block. And you're going to be starting basically with one side of the block and then working the second side. So on the first side, you're going to join pieces here and then you're going to join so that you make a long curve. And let's join some of those pieces together. Now these are very short seams. It's quick to put together that way. Um, there are some, like I said, some gentle curves that you just have to be aware of. It may take just a little bit more patience, but the end result is, is quite dramatic when you're done. Now the quilt behind me was done a very scrappy kind of method. You could do it more planned if you'd like. It's up to you on that as the design progresses. Okay, so we've got that little seam, a little piece there. We're just going to press seam allowances quickly just with a finger press here so we can keep moving on. And then next we're going to join these two pieces together. And there is just a curve, a tiny curve there you can see. When we do this kind of curve piecing, we usually put the concave piece on top. So that means we lay this one on top and you're going to want to let's keep things neat and tidy and take the extra threads away there. You're going to want to join your cut edges and you're going to gently bring this back around to the other side. They're all engineered to fit perfectly, so if your cutting is accurate and with a rotary cutter that does increase your accuracy level, take just a couple stitches. I'm going to do these even without pinning because it doesn't, there's not a, it's not a long seam. You get those first couple stitches in, position your cut edges. Just do one realignment there, just a tiny bit, and stitch right off the end. Okay, so now we've constructed this part of the unit, and finger pressing will be good for us for now. Again, we're going to be then joining in the same manner this curve here, so concave piece on top. This one's a little bit longer, so let's put a couple of pins in. As we align that, you're going to have a triangle that sticks out, so you need to look for, and I'll use the tip of my scissors to point that out, where the two pieces overlap. That should be at a quarter inch. That's where you're going to start your seam. Let's put a pin in to hold that in place. Bring this back around and align your edges here. Put in a pin there and take it to the machine. Again, it's a, a fairly short seam. And so we're going to put it under the machine, start our quarter inch seam, take out the pin so we don't hit it, and then just kind of edge those, bring those edges right together there. Start and stop once or twice is all it's going to take, and that seam will be complete. Having your pieces arranged in the right order, right next to your sewing machine, is going to be kind of the ticket here, so that you don't have to walk away and come back. It's close by. Finger press here again, just so that you can see. Now we've got these all joined, and now this nice long curve is created. We're going to join these together, and I have some of them already joined. 
And it's the same kind of piecing that we did before, those short little seams. Press with your finger or even take it to the iron. It just depends on how comfortable you feel finger pressing. Now this will be ready to go here. But while we're at it, join these two little pieces together also. And you can take all three of those unit or pieces to the sewing machine and you can insert those curves. Again, the same kind of piecing. If you want to make sure that you get a nice intersection here, when you put right sides together, the concave on top, you'll want to pin here at the beginning. And here you might want to take a little bit bigger bite into the fabric to hold those edges nice and aligned. Here, also do the same thing. Align the ends. Take a nice bite so that everything holds square there. Now we're going to go back and look at that intersection where these pieces are coming together here and here. And we're going to pin match by putting the pin in at about a quarter inch depth along that seam. Go to the opposite side, a quarter inch in from that seam and pin through. Now they'll be intersect perfectly on top of each other. Leave that north pole pin in. Put in one like this so that they're right over the top of each other. Do the same thing on the second seam by dropping that pin through, putting a little pin to hold it in place, and stitch. And I've got one here, this one, where I've got both of the pieces ready to go. So now I have two units. You can see here, the pieces are, the uh, seam allowances are pressed outward in both sections there. So you've dropped in, and you get pretty close to the intersections there. A couple of units together like this, then turned, starts to make that chain link. If you'd like to see more of our sewing um, techniques, please visit our Sew Easy tab at our website. Thanks for joining me today.